Hi, I'm Reggie with Stupid Raisins. In this video, I will show you three ways how to add fail transition in Faga Pro. So let's get it on! Let's start with the first method. Let's go to your transitions browser over here, click it, then go to dissolves, and then cross dissolve. Just drag it in between of your clips on your timeline, then you now have your fade transition right there. Okay? For the second method, we'll be using keyframes. By the way, I made another video about how to add keyframes. Let's click up in this corner right now to check it out. Okay, let's start. Select your first clip on your timeline and then drag the playhead at the last frame of your clip and then go to your title inspector and then go to opacity. Then select the keyframe button and make the opacity to zero. Hit enter Then go to your timeline and then move 20 frames to the left. Just hit shift and then left arrow. One, two, that's 20 frames. So 10 frames per shift and left arrow, okay? Okay, and then go to your title inspector, make the opacity to 100%, hit enter. Okay, and then select your second clip and then drag your playhead at the very first frame of your second clip. And then go to your title inspector, click the keyframe button, make the opacity to 0%. And then go to your timeline, select your, your playhead and then move 20 frames to the right. Just hit shift right arrow, 1, 2. 20 frames and then make the opacity to 100%. Okay, let's see how it looks. Oh, nice. Very, very nice. If this video has been helpful to you, go ahead and hit that like button. I would really appreciate it. For the third method, let's go to your transition browser and then go to dissolves and then go to fade to color and just drag it at the end of your clip. So this is the fade to color. You can use any color you want. Just click the color on your title inspector and then select any color you want. Let's make it green. Okay, and then exit. Let's see how it looks. Oh, nice. So it's gonna fade to green. Okay, you can also make it white if you want. Nice. By the way, you can also use this at the middle part of your clip. Just drag it here. Let's see how it looks. Nice. Okay. Thank you for watching and I hope you learned something today. If you want to learn more, I've made a video about how to add transition in Final Cut Pro. Click here to check it out.